Hello everybody, my name is Glenn Monroe and welcome to another edition of Get Pumped with Brain Diesel. In this video I want to show you how to extract data from the web into an Excel sheet so you don't have to type it in or, or recopy anything. So in, I'm doing this in Excel 2010. The steps in 7 are the same, marginally different for 3. On 7 or 10 we go to the data ribbon and under Get External Data we're going to click on From Web. Now in 2003 you're going to go to your data menu down to get external data and you'll see uh, create web query or run web query one of those two so it's the second option on the list so data uh, get get external and choose the second option and we'll get from the web this window will open up <clears throat> now what we want to do if you get the script error just kill it now what we want to do is go to the web and we go to the web page we want to pull the data in from so here's box office mojo a website showing the top grossing movies of all time, or the week, or the day, or the month. And I want to pull this list into Excel. So what I do is I click in the, in the address bar at the top. I'm going to copy this, so I'll just go right click and copy. You can see Control C is also the option, and I recommend the Control C and Control V method, because copying the right click option doesn't always work. It depends on some different factors. So once I have this, I go here to where the black bar is set up, and I press Control V to paste, and I hit Go. And when I do that, this, in a reasonably short period of time, becomes the web page. Now it's all loading in. You'll see here, click this yellow arrow next to the tables you want to select, and then click Import. So it tells you right there what to do, and you'll see these, there are these little yellow arrows all over the place. So I scroll down a touch, and in the upper left hand corner of the table I actually want, there's a yellow arrow. I hover over it, it becomes green. I click on it, it becomes a green check mark. Then I hit import, and it asks you where you want to import it. So that'll be fine, I hit OK. And in a short period of time, the data populates. So now I've got that, that works. That's about as good as, it, as it's ever going to work. The problem is it doesn't work for every website. For instance, to run a test here, I want to the regular standings from MLB.com. I click in here, I copy it, I go to Excel and get data from the web. I have to wait for this all to populate first. So once this is all loaded up, I click in my header bar, I'll paste, and now I hit go. It brings up the site scenes before, that should always work. Um, but if, it's, if the website isn't set up into panes, and that's how all done by whoever creates the website, you'll always have the one in the upper left corner, but you'll notice I don't have any other yellow arrows. So I drag down here, and there's no other yellow arrows, so I can, the only thing I can do is grab the entire sheet, and I hit import, and when I do this, it's going to give me some information, but it's going to give me a lot of garbage. And with this, it doesn't give me what I actually, it actually does, gives me none of the information I actually wanted. So I'm going to let that run through. Here we go. So it's got a lot of stuff here. It, it looks like it was trying to load this data. It didn't pull any of the numbers in. It just pulled the panes around. So not particularly useful in this case. If I go to refresh all, it doesn't work. It didn't refresh anything either. So it's not going to always be good for you. The third time you can do it is I, I chose a Wikipedia page. And Wikipedia I find is really good for, ha like they've got all the data here, but then you go down and you'll find Here's a list of the Academy Award ceremonies and all the winners over the years. So this is the data that I want to bring in. So let's copy my address from the top, go to my Excel sheet, get from the web, same as before. There we go. Paste and go. And with Wikipedia, you get the same yellow arrow only in the upper left. It doesn't give it to you anywhere else, which is really unfortunate. I wish Wikipedia would fix this issue. However, they haven't. So once it's loaded up, I'll get the yellow arrow here. There it is. I can click the entire sheet, but when you scroll down, you'll see that there aren't any other yellow arrows. Uh, here's the table I wanted. It's not there. So I, I can select the entire sheet, then hit import. Now in this case, it's, not, it's going to import exactly what I wanted, plus a whole lot more. It's going to give me all the text at the top and the bottom and all this other stuff. So all the winners and, and all the stats and going down, Gary Cooper, blah, blah, blah. And I finally get down to the award ceremonies. Here's what I wanted. So now I've got to delete or clean up the rest of the document. So 
some tricks to deleting the rest of the document, let me try that again, is I want to select from here to the very top and get all of that stuff. So I click in the cell my, uh, above, where, above my chart, I click here, and I press Control Shift Home. And that will go from where I was to the beginning of the document and select all of that. Now I just simply can right click, delete, and delete the entire rows. And now all that first stuff's gone. Now I scroll to the bottom and I see I've got stuff I don't want at the end here from here to however far down this goes through 400, 800 rows, whatever it happens to be. So way too much stuff. So from here, Control Shift Home goes to the beginning, Control Shift End goes to the bottom. Right click, delete, entire row, okay, done. So I've now deleted the top and the bottom. With that in mind, now I can start narrowing my columns to be the size I want them to be. So there we go. And all I really wanted was the ceremony and the best picture winner. So I'm gonna click the date column. And I'm, while I press my control key, I'm gonna select these other columns that I don't want. Right click, delete, they're gone. And now, oh, I don't want this one either. Right click, delete, it's gone. So now I have all my ceremonies and my winners. So that takes care of the problem. I was able to pull it in here and pull it in here. Now that I have the data into the document, I want to do a bit of a cleanup because I don't want to have, or you'll notice here that there's 2009 and a little circumflex after it. And that there in, on this website indicates that the movie had been re-released. So yes, it made a lot of money, but it came out in whenever it came out and then they re-released it in 3D this year. So that's what that's showing. Well, that's fine, but maybe I don't want that because if I wanted to have it broken down by year number, I want I may want um, I may want to group my 2009s, 2008s. Well, this is going to be different in my groupings. So I want to get rid of those little circumflexes. So how I do this is I click on the letter E to select my entire column. Then on my home ribbon, I'm going to go to Find and Select and Replace. And the shortcut to get here is Control H. And the Find and Replace window will open for you. Now with this, what I want to find is I want to find that little symbol, which is Shift-6 in this case. What do I want to replace it with? Nothing. I want to replace it with nothing. I just want to delete that, get, get rid of it. So to do that, I'm going to hit Replace All. And now 23 movies have been adjusted. It's a nice clean list. And now I can work that list a little bit better. So that's one way to scrub a list. Let's go over to Sheet 3 or my sheet three in this case, where my Academy Awards are. So I've got the Academy Awards, um, but then I also have stuff like um, or first Academy Awards, second Academy Awards. Well, all I really want is first, second, third, fourth, fifth. So I want to delete the Academy Awards. We're going to do the same deal. I'm going to select the entire column. I'll use the shortcut, Control H, which opens my window. This time what I want to replace is the Academy Awards at, with nothing. I want to get rid of the space first because there's a space before the A in Academy. But instead of typing the whole thing, because I have this list nice and clean, I'll, I'll type a couple letters of it. And now I can hit the star or the asterisk. And the asterisk allow, takes care of anything that follows it. So I'm looking for space ACAD asterisk and I want to replace it with nothing. And when I hit replace all, my list is instantly scrubbed for all 85 years of the movies. And I scroll down, and you can see that they're all cleaned up. Now what I might do is change this to say Academy Awards. And that way, the list makes sense. But I don't have to worry about um, having all that redundancy. And it's a little cleaner to look at. So there's some ways to import the data and some things you can do to clean up your list. If you really want to get total list management, you should check out my list management class where we dig a lot deeper into things you can do with the list to manage numbers and extract data and get exactly what you want in nice, simple terms to make it work for you. Thanks for watching, everybody. My name is Glenn Monroe. Stay pumped, and we'll see you next time. Bye now.